You are watching William Patterson University Television. Are you ready to see something different? This is the moment I've been searching for. Ready? Ready. Take the red pill, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Welcome back to Press Start. This week we'll be dis discussing the latest streaming service, HBO Max, and the abundance of content that will be released in the coming months. With Friends, Adventure Time, and even a Parasite series, there's lots to talk about. Joining me today are Anthony and Ben. Thanks for sitting down with me, guys. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Got you. So first off is yet another streaming service. Do you guys think that HBO just jumped on a bandwagon? I don't know about uh, jumping on a bandwagon, but I think it was definitely a calculated business decision. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Obviously, AT&T, who owns HBO, yeah. oh, they know that in the future, no one's going to be watching TV by paying for cable. They know that it's just everyone is going to be using a streaming service. And they're already kind of late. There are already all these other services that are more established. So they need to get started. And uh, this is their big plan. Yeah. I can't really blame them, honestly, because that's, that's where it's all going to. Yeah. I mean, everything's going over to streaming. If they weren't doing that, then I would look at their whole marketing team. Yeah, especially since they've always had these big shows like Game of Thrones. But that ended now, so they really yeah. need to get something exactly. new, so mm -hmm. HBO Max. Mm -hmm. um, also, the other content that they have, uh, one thing that I know you are excited for, um, there are four one-hour-long episodes coming out of Adventure Time. <laughs> yeah. How, how, do you guys, how do you guys feel about that? Are you impartial? <laughs> I, I actually hate Adventure Time so much. <laughs> no. Adventure Time was the greatest show, greatest cartoon show I've seen in such a long time, and I'm so happy that they're continuing it, and they're, they're, I hope they're going to do a great job with it, and yeah, I'm, 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 I'm excited about that. Yeah, this is a big deal, especially for people of our age. Mm -hmm. this, uh, I just, yeah, because yeah, we're all grown up in college now. Yeah, and so it, it's, it's like, going to be tough for them to, uh, you know, recapture the magic yeah. and create something that's fun for hopefully both kids and also people our age. It should be, as I know that with with each episode they're focusing on different people, and it's so it's going to be able to encapsulate every one of your favorite characters most likely. Though I'm am curious that if they're going to get them all together at some point in the last episode, that would be amazing. I don't know. I do know that it's one of Peppermint Butler, mm -hmm. it's one of Marceline and Bubblegum, which yes. I really I want wait. ever since the kiss happened, <laughs> and um, one of Finn and Jake, and uh, there's another one. I forget what the other one is. I have no clue. I hope it's just all of them together. But um, another thing that's coming out is that the recent shutout Oscar-winning movie, Parasite, is coming up with its own series. So, what do you think the show will even do? See, to me, this is the one that feels kind of like a bandwagoner. I yeah. mean, Parasite was a great movie and also a historic film, but I don't think we need more of it. I think the film works great by itself. And uh, right now, we don't know whether or not it's going to be some sort of spin-off or a continuation of the story of the original film, mm -hmm. or if it's going to be an English language remake. Either way, it's not a good idea, in my opinion. Because right now, they have only casted Mark Ruffalo and Tilda Swinton last time I heard, which is already mm -hmm. very different from the original cast. It seems to be almost mm -hmm. just an English version. I think that English would be version. a mistake. Yeah. And I haven't seen Parasite yet. I still plan on seeing it. Um, but they did what m a lot of large movies have done, where they saw that they did a great job, and mm -hmm. they turned it into a show. I think like, the one thing that it has going for it, though, is that executive producing it, it's going to be Bong Joon-ho, the original director of Parasite, as well as a lot of other great movies. Mm -hmm. And also Adam McKay, who you might know directed Anchorman and Talladega yeah. Nights, but lately has done some more awards-friendly films like Vice and uh, The Big Short. I did not know Adam McKay was on it. I love all the old uh, mm. movies with like Step Brothers and stuff like that. I think he did those ones. But mm. yeah, other shows that are coming to the service um, are Doctor Who, Gossip Girl, uh, Westworld, Rick and Morty, um, and so much more. So does that kind of more entice you to get the service or is it just like I can get this on any other platform? I'm already all in. 
I'm, 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 I'm already gonna buy it. Like I already know I'm going to buy it. Um, and they have a wide repertoire of, mm -hmm. of shows, movies, of things going on there, things that they own themselves, things that mm -hmm. are just gonna be on there that other services already have. I think it's gonna be a really well-rounded streaming service. Mm. I'm still not sure. I think, I think their catalog of old content mm -hmm. is pretty impressive, but they, so far I don't think they have a new original show that's really getting me excited. They don't have like a Stranger Things or a Handmaid's Tale or even like that a Mandalorian, like a show that's like the reason why you would buy the service, especially since this service is so much more expensive than all of the other services. That is completely correct. I know that I would maybe just get it for Barry with Bill Hader, but then again, I could just get the cable channel to watch that. But um, another thing that is enticing a lot of people to buy it is that they are possibly doing, I think it's confirmed now, a Friends reunion um, episode, and it is one of the most highest and the most anticipated things about this streaming service. First off, were you guys really into Friends? Nope. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've watched episodes. I think it's funny. Uh, I do like the show. I can't say I've seen it all the way through, but I, 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 I kind of plan on it, I guess, because all my friends were telling me to. Mm -hmm. so I haven't seen it, so. I have a lot of friends that are into it, but I heard that this is only supposed to be them reacting to it. It's not an actual reboot or show. It's yeah. just them. When I heard <laughs> that, I was, I was like, I thought it was going to be like, you know, a one-time like reunion, like Fuller House was, or something like that. Mm -hmm. But now that I know it's like more in that direction, I don't know. If I've never really, if I wasn't a huge fan of it, then there's no reason for me to watch yeah. it. Yeah. So I think to the people who do really love Friends, which is obviously not me, but <laughs> to those people, I would advise them to just be cautious and remember that a lot of sitcom reboots have not worked. I mean, we all remember how bad Fuller House was. Yeah. Oof. That's a hot take, <laughs> but you are correct. Yeah. Um, finally, so what position do you think HBO's content will be put uh, compared to the other competitors, like Netflix and Hulu? You already said that they don't really have original content with it, mm -hmm. um, but they do. Do you think that they're going to plan to do it? Because HBO also, I feel like, is one of those companies that has a lot more budget. Like they are allowed to mm -hmm. do more than Netflix and everything. It's gonna to be tough because there are so many services, like Apple is getting involved yeah. now and they've got a lot of like A-list Hollywood talent working for them. I think HBO's best option if they wanna compete is just to play up all of the great like historic groundbreaking shows they've done, like The Sopranos, The Wire, Game of Thrones. The fact that you can watch all of those in one place, that might be enough to make it a hit. And I think all, along with those content like that they just own and that they've produced themselves already, I mean, the things that they're bringing onto there that have been like already made by other, like the Rick and Morty, yeah. and mm -hmm. technically, I guess you would say it would be original to HBO would be the Adventure Time stuff. I think from the, that fan base alone will for sure be getting that for, for that reason. I think I'm definitely gonna get it. I will admit, I'm jumping on this bandwagon. I love Adventure Time. I we'll, feel like we'll watch it. Yeah, we'll watch we it. Got, I got you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but unfortunately, that's all the time we have. Thank you, Anthony and Ben, for talking with me today. All this content is going to take hours away from my life, but in a very fun way. HBO Max is set to be released in May of this year. I can't wait to see how these shows turn out and see where HBO Max stands in the battle of the streaming services. Stay tuned because we'll be right back with a new franchise face-off. <laughs>